I started filming this video with the intention of just your typical vlog, but then we went from the countryside to Paris and I made a big realization about myself and the world we live in. So we are getting philosophical here and we're going to explore my head over heels in love relationship with big cities. I've always felt my life dial down a fair few notches whenever I'm away from the hustle culture of the city. In the mornings, it's like I finally have time to read for as long as my heart desires, spend that extra time savoring my morning coffee, not feeling the pressure of choosing the perfect outfit and applying makeup to hide those eye bags. We don't care in the countryside. It feels like we have all the time in the world. Now, I know that farmers probably don't feel this way at all. I feel my life slow down to an almost stop. But it rains constantly in this part of the French countryside, so I guess that's Mother Nature telling me it's okay to stop. Lunch is the best. No. Because we use that time to just be together. Whoa, yeah. And eating yummy food. Food is such a love language for me, and there's nothing I enjoy more than a yummy meal with the people I love. I have something really cute and ooh, nearly stepped on barbed wire. Cute and exciting to show you. Ooh, <laughs> it's a dwarf goat. Look how cranky he looks. A cranky man <laughs> going to town doing odd jobs you know like a quick trip into town is something i crave whenever i'm here i am honestly looking for any excuse to get back to society to see people to remind me that i'm not the only one living out here human connection i love it i crave it we're playing real life tetris we are packing all our bags weighing them, checking everything is good to go back to Australia. The wind and rain in the country, in the French countryside, is absolutely ridiculous. Every two seconds, it's like sunny one minute and then like torrential rain the next. Yeah. That was seriously one of the most heartbreaking and difficult things I've ever had to do. We ended up getting rid of this kind of, I don't know if you can see, but it's a pretty decent sized bag full of stuff that we're not going to take with us to Australia, which is really heartbreaking because I'm already a minimalist. I live a really simple life, but some stuff, you know, we, we weighed our bags and we were very like on the limit. My suitcase barely even closed and now look at it. Yeah. It's kind of a bittersweet moment. Difficult decisions were made and things have been culled. The hardest thing about leaving a place is saying goodbye. We know that we're off on our next adventure, but the people we love the most usually stay behind. But it's time for us to leave the countryside and go to... Very Paris! <laughs> staring at what would have to be my favorite monument in the whole entire world. Um Happy. Humans are just so incredible. Imagine building a giant monument like this and having it be one of the most iconic things in the whole entire world. And while in the countryside we see Mother Nature's beautiful creations, in the city we see just how capable we are of creating beauty ourselves. I'm hiding from Killian. <laughs> 
lost you, baby. Well, <laughs> I lost you. Yeah, so too. <laughs> You almost get eaten by a bike. You sound like a seagull. <laughs> Not seagull, you're a seagull, you're a pigeon. <laughs> oh, damn. In the city, we are surrounded by people. It's like a human zoo in the sense that there are just different kinds of people all living their lives in the same place. And that's what makes it amazing. We can be anyone and do anything when we're in the city. Oh, and we can eat anything. But seriously, my last few days in France made me realize just how much I love humans and how much hope I have for an amazing future.